in mountain pose, stand tall, feet flat on the floor, inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, fold forward, inhale, flat back, exhale, plant the hands, step back for plank, lower down, chaturanga, inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog, five breaths here, inhale, exhale, one, Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, five. We look forward and we're going to step the right foot forward. We're going to flatten the back left foot to the floor and inhale, rise up, warrior one. We're going to seal the back foot to the mat, the outer back foot. We're going to bend the right knee down so that the thigh is parallel to the floor. We want the front, the knee tracking right over the ankle. Reach the arms up and press the hands together. Inhale and exhale. We'll take three breaths here. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. We're going to transition to Humble Warrior, so we'll bring the hands behind the back, interlacing the fingers. First, we're going to lengthen the spine, then we're going to exhale, fold forward. Trying to keep, again, the front leg so that the thigh is parallel to the floor. Keep the knee tracking right over the ankle and seal that back heel into the mat. Lengthen from the spine through the crown of the head. And to stretch the shoulders, we're going to reach the arms up and away from the body. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, four. We're going to place our hands now on the inside of the right foot. We can walk that right foot out a little bit. We're going to lift the left heel off the ground. We're going to do lizard pose. We're going to engage the back left leg strongly, lifting the left knee away from the mat. We're going to keep that right knee directly over the right ankle. If you want a little bit more stretch, you can come walk the hands forward or come down onto the elbows. We're going to take three breaths here. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, Exhale, three. We're going to bring our hands now onto the mat, and we're going to take our right hand on the outside of the right foot and step it back for plank. And we're going to do our vinyasa, exhaling down, inhaling upward dog, and exhaling into downward dog. Press the heels into the floor, lengthen the spine, and breathe. Five breaths here. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, five. We're going to transition into crescent pose. Looking forward, step that right foot forward, keep the left heel off the ground, and rise up. Whoa, finding your balance. Engage the core, pull the belly up and in, shoulders over hips. Right knee tracks again over the right ankle, and get that right thigh parallel to the floor. Again, engage the back leg strongly, lifting the knee up off, away from the ground. Arms parallel to each other, hands reach into the sky. Good. Hips facing forward. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. 
Inhale, exhale, three, good. Release now for your vinyasa. Hands plant on the floor, step the right foot back, down into chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. 